All right, guys, so this is now part three of people who were incarcerated with Gypsy Rose Blanchard that I found on TikTok. If you missed the first two videos, I have a Gypsy Rose Blanchard playlist where you can go back and watch the others. So this is Cassandra. I will link her TikTok account in the description below. She posted a video before Gypsy was released and has posted a few after her release, and I did put these in order by date. So these are not all of the videos she has posted about Gypsy, but just the ones that I found to be the most interesting or most important and I'm sure she's going to be posting more so go over and give her a follow so she wants more prison stories um, so here it is I was in prison with Gypsy Rose if you don't know who she is go back and watch my prior videos or look her up because there's stuff about her all over TikTok she is the girl that had her mother unalived by getting online and having a relationship online. She's also the one that's mom made her um, be sick and um, told her she couldn't walk for most of her life and gave her a whole bunch of false um, sicknesses. And it's just really crazy the things that her mother did to her. Well, she had a man come unalive her mother while she was in another room. She's being released in December. I first um, met Gypsy Rose coming through R&O at Vandalia. Um, and I just watched her. I knew who she was automatically when she came through. I think everybody did. And I just watched how she was. She seemed very immature. She liked attention. She still talked like a little girl. Um, over time, that went away. And... Um, from what I see on TV, she's a totally different person than she was that came into prison. Up with me, talk shit with me. I look like shit, and I will in every other one of my videos, okay? Because I just woke up. Did you know? Okay. So let's talk shit. Well, this is what I got talked about. Gypsy Rose. So I was in prison with her. Did you know? I was. I was there when she first got there. Sure was. She's definitely not the woman she is today. We can't say eight and a half years did her good. Cheers to Gypsy Rose. Well, back to the Gypsy Rose. Um, <clears throat> well, how do I feel about it? Oh, look, girl, let me tell you. I'm, thank God you asked, you know? Um, I feel like what happened to her is terrible. It's a terrible thing. Do I feel like she should be famous for it? No. Do I feel like what she did was wrong? Yes. She did do her time. I can understand that from a person that's been to prison herself. But I don't feel like it's talked about enough of... She could get a laptop and have a secret relationship, but she couldn't figure out that she could reach out to her father or to somebody else. She didn't have to unalive her mother. Um... We're forgetting that. I am ashamed of America. You guys have lost track. You guys are in a mental illness because at the end of the day, from a criminal to a criminal, it's wrong. You're not allowed to take people's life and it's not okay regardless if she did the act or not. She's just as guilty as how I feel. You don't have to like me. That's fine. Cheers and have a great day. Hey, what's up, TikTok? I am Miss Moon. Um, I'm a psychic medium, but besides that, man, have I missed a lot. Let's catch up. So, first things first, Gypsy Rose. Go watch my other videos. I've said it from day one, what I felt, and I am correct. And everybody was like, oh, before she got released, my opinion was so bad. But guess what? I was correct. Now, let me touch base on it. Number one, manipulator. Number two, I was in prison with her, okay? And when I tell you when she came into prison, how can I explain this? She ate up any attention. She was flirting with the girls. She was eh, laughing all the time. Always just ate up the attention so freaking much. She was so immature. She loved it. She had girls were fighting over her. It was, she was a thought. She was a little thought. That makes sense. I had really was concerned because I thought for sure, I mean, girls were going to take her down through there. I know how girls are when you go to prison. These girls are looking for fresh meat as soon as you get off the bus. And boy, she fell right into it all. 
she was big about like boasting about how many people were writing her. Um, she ended up going to chill coffee, but needless to say, it's been however long. It's been a long time since Gypsy Rose first came to prison, but she might have grown. She might have changed. But one thing does not change. She is very much to blame for her mom's own aliving. And if she didn't help, I'd be surprised. Because I truly believe that there were 17 wounds, okay? And one thing about that Nick guy is that he hasn't lied ever. He don't lie about much of anything. And the only thing I think he might have not told the truth about is that part. Is that he's he said that he only stabbed her, or, you know, her four times. So where did the other ones come from? Not to mention... Um, the part where it talks about how she was, she ran off with another guy and her mom came and got her. And her mom put her in the shed for two weeks. This is what I got to say about it. There's one show, there was one interview with a couple, the ones that initially went over there to look for her mom, but didn't find her. And then the police found later. But um, they were talking about how they go over there often. People are over there often. How would it be that her mom would have her in a shed for two weeks? And she'd be explaining where her daughter that couldn't walk that's in a wheelchair is. Another thing. If her mom was so obsessed and controlling and didn't let her out of her sight ever, you tell me how she got a laptop and had it for two years in a relationship if, she, her, if her bedroom door didn't lock. Right. Her mom didn't wasn't that controlling. Her mom would let her in her room for two with the locked door because the only way if it makes sense is that if Dee, Dee never caught her with the laptop it's because her door was locked and she could put it away before opening the door come on think about it another thing she said that her mom did a um some kind of spell voodoo hex on her you know it's funny because the cow tongue thing in her pictures don't even make sense okay so clearly she didn't know what she's talking about why would she bury it Anyways, um, I believe that the reason why she came up with some shit like that is because her mom's from New Orleans and they're kind of known for doing um, voodoo, right? So, I just think it's such bull crap. I also believe that 100% the reason why her and her mom both scamming people is because they were in Katrina in New Orleans, right? And nowhere to live. And I think that it was a plan that they came up with to get a place to live faster, because they were probably staying in some kind of shelter or something. I don't know. But I truly believe that that was a plan that they came up together and did together. Do I think her mom definitely did some stuff as a child, like saying she was sick when she wasn't, saying things were wrong with her, to get attention from other people and to possibly get money and help? I absolutely do. But do I think that Gypsy Rose did know? Yes. Absolutely. I do. Her mom was sick at her when she was passing. She could have just left. She didn't have to have her unalived. And she's talking, she said she didn't know that she could talk to somebody. She was a master manipulator herself. Have you not seen the videos where she's singing and she's acting sick? <laughs> Come on. If you can walk, you know it. You know if you can walk. Don't play games with me. Us as children, us as young, I don't believe it for a second. I don't believe her. I see through her. And I also believe that as soon as someone gives her more attention out here and she gets whatever she needs out of she's going to leave Ryan and she's going to be off the chain. Believe that. So, there's so many more things I think about it, but I just, right now, I don't know. And the video with her totally acting like she didn't know her mom was, you know, unalived. Wow. Tells you right there. And I'd be hearing her little baby talk when it creeps me out. That video of her and Nick when after her mom's unalived and she's laughing with him in bed and she says that weird crap like, you're going to eat me. <laughs> Yeah, laughing oh my god I hear her laugh like that now with Ryan weird 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 I can't do it it's so weird listen I don't care would you protect me from anybody I just keep hearing that would you oh you will protect me would you protect me from anyone like wow manipulation not to mention I bet she laid in her bed at some point and probably had this planned on her little computer or laptop that she was googling 
exactly what her mom was. Probably knew. I think she's a lot smarter than we give her credit for. She probably knew one day she'd get out of prison for this and knew she wouldn't even go that long. And she probably picked Nick for a reason, knowing that he was vulnerable and that would do it. The only one that would probably do something like that for her. There's no one in their right mind would. All of it played in her favor, and I think she was very planned out and well thought about. And I knew she she knew she would get out of prison. She like she said she said, I I was born a star or something. I don't know some stupid shit like that. But either way, she's good. She's not real good, but yeah. So let's keep making her money and let's keep keeping her talked about. But there you go, manipulation, Gypsy Rose. She's just like her mother. True story. She learned from the best. They were together. They were a team together. Mark my words. Come on, man. Have a good day. Hey, what's up? I'm Miss Moon. So I'm just going to reply to this. Maybe she was eating up attention because the only attention she had all of her life was from her abusive mother. Just a thought. Um, very true. Um, also, there's another comment. I'm just using yours for, it was the first one to, I could get to. But, um, I've seen some comments saying that she never really got attention and she only got attention from her mother. But, I hate to say that, but that's wrong. Because she's got so much attention. She got trips to Disney World. She got houses. She's got so much attention that... It's sickening if you think about it. Look at all the videos of attention that she was getting. Okay? She got tons of attention for being sick, remember? For being something wrong with her. She got tons of attention. I don't think it was the lack of attention. I think her mom gave her lots of attention. She got tons of attention. I think that it was the the reason why she acted like that when she got to prison is because the lack of like social being socialized with kids her age or her age period or knowing how to act other than her game her and her mom's game of fooling people manipulating people of acting sick i think she did that for so long you know and i think that she was i think that re, she's just an immature period i think even if she lived this normal kind of life i think she's just emotionally immature um, I think that's just who she would have been, period. I think that it would, she might have been, took her longer to be mature than others. Um, also, I, I think that she very much likes the opposite sex attention. So it just wasn't attention, period. It was attention, um, sexually. She was a person that liked to be wanted and flirted and, and all that, like, that's what she, ah, that laugh she has, always laughing and playing games, like, she was in middle school, like, middle, middle school, elementary, like, we're grown-ups, you know, she's, like, running around, being chased by some girl boy in prison, you know, I don't know, she definitely just likes attention, period, I definitely took her as a person that didn't tell the truth, either, I think she lied about things, just to be cool. I mean, we all probably have done that in our life at some point. But at this point, you got to remember, I was 34 years old. And she was grown, too. Okay? Regardless. She's grown. I don't know. So that's my thoughts on that. So I don't believe it was lack of attention. I think that she got so much attention from everybody. Not just her mama. From everybody. She got free trips. She got all kinds of attention. They got houses. They got her picture taken. She got lots of attention. She liked male attention. She liked anybody that liked her, wanted to mess around with her, do stuff with her. You know, that kind of attention. Hey everyone, so this is my outfit of the day. Everything is Zara, my top. Listen here. I look at this shit and I'm like, are we for real? Is this what we're doing? Listen, Gypsy, Gypsy Rose. You did less time than I did for drugs. You know what I'm saying? You know, had all to do with your mom's unalive, girl. And you think you call that fair? Not to mention, how the hell did you manipulate the courts and everyone around you to believe you? 
<laughs> and the only way that it's coming out <laughs> is because you can't lie, girl. You get out and you put your face on this camera and you suck at actually telling the truth. Like, we can see through you. You tell on yourself. You're not good. You might be able to manipulate <laughs> your way through life with some people that ain't got no sense. But, uh, girlfriend, I've been to prison. I've been manipulator. I've been a liar. I know one when I see one. And, girl, no one cares about what your outfit of the day is. What I care about is that you're over here getting all this attention and making money of what you did to your mama. At the end of the day, no matter what your mama did to you, you are not God, Miss Thang. And it's just a matter of time. The right person's gonna give you attention and Ryan ain't gonna give you enough and you're gonna be back on those pills and you're gonna be running and gunning and living wild. Because you were wild when you came into prison in Vandalia. <laughs> and you're still wild, it ain't out of you. Girl, I see your future and I hope it goes better than I believe it will. At this point, you got to answer for those sins, girl. Forget what I think. Forget what social media thinks. At the end of the day, you know, and so does the higher power. Knows what it is. Forget what I think I know. And I guarantee limit what it is. What someone needs to be reminding you, girl, those DNA changing sins you do stick with you for all of eternity and forever and beyond. You know what I mean? They form you. So you might be wearing the outfit of the day, but one day, girl, girl, may God rest your soul, you know, type. I would definitely be coming clean, and the last thing I'd be doing is showing my face all over social media. I'd be getting me right, figuring it out. And until I had it completely figured out, I wouldn't be showing my face anywhere, because girl, I have a bad feeling you're going to come out, and you've been locked up too long, and if you didn't have freedom prior. You still got wild in you, girl. Not to mention, I think you need some counseling. Major counseling. And some acceptance of what you are. A fill in the blank. Have a good day. I had to mute this one due to copyright, but she says in this that she thinks that Gypsy Rose Blanchard should take a lie detector test so that everyone can find out the truth. So that would be pretty interesting to watch. Let's get straight into this. Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Yes, I was in prison with her. I was with her when she first came to prison. I worked for maintenance. This is how I seen her in R&O status. Okay? She did go to Chill Coffee, so it means that when she got out of R&O, she stayed for a short while at Vandalia at the prison I was at, and then she got transferred to another prison. When she was an R&O and I was the maintenance person, I was there fixing something. I seen Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Did I know what she was there for? No. Did I ever know what she was there for? No, not till I got out. But I don't think really anybody did. Unless she told people, okay? And maybe people did that came in after me and was on the streets for a while. I was there for a good while. Um, maybe they did. But I didn't. And people that have been there had. I knew the gypsy was a manipulator from day one I met her in R&O. I heard what she was doing in her room. Reading letters, scamming people for money. Her pimp house. I heard their conversation. Not to mention, I knew the gypsy was friendly with anybody that would give her attention. If you know what I'm saying. So, what I'm saying is, here is the, the cap of everything I know by Gypsy. Everything I just told you plus everything I've learned. And let me just tell you that nothing's ever swayed my mind into knowing for sure that she's a manipulator. She had more to do with the unaliving of her mother Dee Dee Blanchard. Um, that she was never really sick. She never... It's funny because she didn't want people clearly to know what she was in there for because she surely didn't offer the information and I don't think people knew at all at first for a good while. And I think the people she told was when she got transferred to Chillicothe and the people in her room. She never said she was sick. I thought her, she didn't have hair because I thought she had head lice. And I can believe that that's what she told people. She didn't tell people that she didn't have hair because her mom would shave it because she would make her be sick. Now, not to mention, she had longer hair when she got, but it was very short. Okay, let's get back into this. I think that she has way more 
to do with unaliving her mom, right? I also believe that Nick should not be the one being solely charged in his whole life being gone. I believe that she manipulated the shit out of him. I also believe that she possibly um, put D-R-U-G-S sleep uh, medicine or something in her, med in her food the night that that happened to her, okay? I also believe that Gypsy lied about everything. I don't think that, I think that her and her mom scam people together because they were, in, they said in Hurricane Katrina, but from what I understand, they weren't even in Hurricane Katrina, but they surely used that to get all the benefits and anything from it. And she was going to get a home and how they were going to get a home is because they said they were in Hurricane Katrina and they were going to get a home, but there was a heck of a waiting list. Everybody needed help. I believe that she used, came up with gypsy sick and dying. So they got bumped up and they ended up getting moved to Missouri to Springfield into that home. That's what I believe. My own personal belief. You don't have to believe it. I don't really care if you do or don't. I've heard a thousand times in my last video in the comments that gypsy did not get put in a shed. Yes, she did. Watch the video. Don't try to come for me and tell me what I know. OK, if you don't know or are not educated enough to watch the uh, everything, don't comment saying some shit. Go watch every video and find out the information yourself before you tell me that she was never put in a shed. She said she was. I'm not saying she actually really was. I'm saying she said her mama put her in the shed for two weeks. OK, without food and water and she'd pee in buckets. She also said her mama chained her to her bed. So there is a difference. I also do not believe for a second that Gypsy has changed much. If you want to know why, here's why. Before she went to prison, to prison, do you remember after she unalived her mother, the text message that she put on the internet? Real immature. Guess what she gets out of prison and does? She's living her her good life, all that extra shit that she put on about people clapping back about Ryan. Immature and dumb. Her What she says and things she does, it's immature and dumb. It's the same gypsy acting out of a stupid, I don't know, acting out of whatever you want to call that. It's the same gypsy doing the same old thing. Nothing's changed. She got longer hair, gained some weight. And got some followers on TikTok. That's about it. She's still manipulating people. She's still doing the shit. Still. Still. Stop feeling sorry for someone when you're part of the problem, too. There's victims every day, but I'm sick of hearing people saying she's a victim. You know what? Maybe her mom's a victim. Maybe this was part of her plan. Maybe Nick's a victim. Maybe we're victims. <laughs> For real. Anyways, I don't really care either which way. I'm just getting the record straight. Because at the end of the day, my life goes on and I don't give a shit about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. But I make content and I'm a con I want to bring information, true, valid information, because half the shit's whack, to TikTok. And that's what I can do. So no one sit and tell me what I should do and not do. I don't care. And I don't care if she gets 20 hundred more followers because of my content. So save it. <laughs> Thank you. It ain't helping me. And if it makes her gain more power to you, I'm speaking the truth. And this is my truth. So keep on moving. Keep on pushing if you don't like it. I want Gypsy Rose Blanchard to take a lie detector test. And if I was Gypsy and I was so for sure she was living her best life, not with her brother. I don't know. That's wild. That whole thing, it very well could be true. At this point, it probably is. I don't even know. My feeling would be that Gypsy don't know that he's his br her brother. But he did. Sure did. I don't think Gypsy knew that Dee, Dee ever even had another kid. Anyways, so back to this. I read, I, I got the info. I know, I know why Ryan lost his job. You know, now this is where it gets sicker. We've got Gypsy fooling us all. And now we got Ryan fooling us and Gypsy. How 
old is Ryan? It tells you right now that what teacher actually takes an interest in somebody in prison for their mother's unaliving. It shows you where his mental is already. And it also shows America, shows where America's mental is also. People supporting this girl. Because at the end of the day, no matter what, let's just say that she was a victim. She still did it. Because trust and believe, if it was me, my ass would have never got out. Promise you. But it couldn't be me because I would never sit and fake that I couldn't walk. I know. We all know if you can walk or not. No matter what your mama tells you, as children, rumba, you know, want to get out of bed, want to do stuff, we would know. Quit playing. There ain't nothing you can do to make a child that can walk believe they can. Unless you break their legs. Thank you. Have a good day. If I keep scrolling through TikTok and keep seeing the same old shit about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Everybody else is making content. I'm just going to keep on making content about this lady. Considering I was in prison with her and I got a pretty good idea. I've seen her up close and personal of what type of person she is. And it's exactly what I've been saying. A manipulator. So make this make sense. Gypsy manipulates a man online. Okay. Has him unalive her mom. Goes to prison. He is doing life and they won't even give him any kind of recognition for his autism at his pre at his um, appeal, right? The state gave him a check, but now is not going to recognize that he has autism or anything possibly wrong with him. Make that make sense. Gypsy gets out early. He's doing life. Gypsy, Gypsy gets out of prison. She gets a big following for what? Unaliving her mom. Now is a millionaire for unaliving her mom. All this for unaliving her mother and having her mom unalived. Just as much or more in the wrong than Nick. And she's manipulating everybody around her. She's showing the same behaviors that she had prior to unaliving her mom. She's just living her best life. Remember that. Remember? She's clapping back, living her best life. Just like she clapped back before she went to prison. After she unalived her mom and she put that sick shit on Facebook. Clap back. <laughs> Go Gypsy Rose. Live that best life. But don't forget, just because you didn't do the, you say, girl, all your lies and all your stuff, it's going to catch on up to you. So no one cares about you and Ryan's life after lockup, okay? We care about your life when you were at your mom's and what you did. And, and all your supporters, you know what I think about that? They need help. Y'all need to get your head checked. Your teacher, boy, uh husband now, but was boyfriend, that reached out to you, a teacher, supposed to be a good man in society, teaching our children, this is who we let teach our children, takes it upon himself to write the person that unalived, his mom, unalived their mom, or had something, did have something, a big part of it, make that make sense, he needs his head check, that alone tells you where Ryan's at, I mean, I can't see anybody real sane being with Gypsy, period, but dang, America needs their head checked. Ryan needs their head checked. All your supporters need their head checked. Get it together. She played a role, the biggest part role, and her mom's unaliving. I don't care what she did. She could have done a lot of other things. Funny how people think that she deserved it. No one deserves to, you know, no one should be playing God because we're not. It's not okay. You knew you had lots of other options. You knew you had all these options with all these other boys and all these other things you'd be doing. Come on, Gypsy, another thing. We know you knew how to walk the whole damn time. <laughs> the lengths you go for lying and manipulating. And yeah, you are just like your mama. Yeah, I said it. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.